And now all the, there's all this data, right? <laughs> Lots of data. It's really overwhelming. A lot of good stuff, but how do you decide you know, what's relevant and um, then what to do with it? So inside of all this data, there's stuff you can measure, and then there's this very small portion of that, which is stuff you actually should measure, stuff that's actually important to your business. Things, things that you can measure on your website, visitor information, drivers of traffic to your site, how content on your site, different types of content is performing, different pages, uh, and conversions, getting the, the visitor to your website to do what you actually want them to do on your site. So that's stuff you can measure on your website. How about stuff you can measure in social channels, should you choose to? Reach. What's the reach of you know, your tweets, your Facebook posts, et cetera? How many people are seeing what you're pushing out there? Resonance. What, what type of content are you pushing out there that is, is resonating with people, that you know, they're being receptive to and consuming? How about your network? Are you talking to influencers, people who have big followings themselves and are going to spread your message? Or are you talking to a bunch of bums on the couch? And there's programs like Awesome, Crowd Booster. Uh, you, can, you can look at individual posts, individual tweets, that, and see how they're performing, see if they're being shared and uh, what the reach of those posts are. How about what you can measure in the search engines? Your rankings, Derek talked all about this, your competitors' rankings, cost per click, cost per lead, your visibility. And I think there's one question you have to ask here, and we've, we've sort of hit on it already, but you know, it comes down to what are your business goals. If it doesn't relate, if a certain metric doesn't relate to something you're trying to accomplish with your business, then what's the point of measuring it, right? If your business goal is awareness, how about measuring things like social shares and your Google ranking? If your business goal is 100, lead, 100 new leads, let's say you've been tasked with bringing in 100 new leads, I think you need to set goals at different levels. For your website, maybe you're going to say, all right, I'm going to bring in 50 of those new leads through my website, right? What type of content are you going to put on your site to bring in those 50 leads? Let's say there's topic A, you know, service, service A that you offer. Let's say, make the commitment and say, I'm going to bring in 25 of those 50 leads for the service A that I offer. I'm going to bring in 25 of those 50 leads through content about service B that I offer and then commit to making the content that's going to be of interest to people who are looking for this thing or that thing. And then set goals in your channels. Where are you going to spend your money? Where are you going to spend your time to make sure that you can bring people into your website? Say that you're going to, you know, you're going to pull in 20 of those leads through the social channels and then spend the time, the money, whatever it takes to bring those 20 in. Do the same thing in the search engines. So how to measure and identify opportunity. Um, a few people have said it today. I'm going to say it again. Your website's home base. It's, you control your website, or you, at least your company does, right? So let's measure how you're performing there. Because in the social channels, you know, Mark Zuckerberg can kick you off Facebook whenever he wants to, but your website's yours. So let's focus on your website, measuring how you're performing there right now. And then after you look at that, you've got to measure how you're performing in the social channels and how you're performing in the search engines because these are the places that are going to be bringing people into your site through click-throughs. And once you've measured your performance in these places, then it's time to look at opportunity. Where can you identify and measure opportunity for things like keywords, things like content that you're creating, things like influencers out there? And what conversion tracking allows you to do is essentially take something that is a business goal and put it in, customize your Google Analytics to put it in the context of a website goal. And you can measure how a website visitor is performing against that goal. Try connecting with people next door. And by that I mean look at sources within your own industry. You know, trade publications or journalists within your industry who are already interested in the same things that you're interested in. Can you connect with them, get them to pick up a press release, push that out, and reach a massive following that they have. You know, all the stuff that Google's already got in there, the stuff I showed you screenshots of about 10 minutes ago, um, that stuff's already programmed in there, but now you've started to customize analytics to be specific to your business, and it adds that much more value to you because 
you've identified business goals, turned them into goals for your website, and you can analyze all that information over time now.